Hey, Dhakkar, kitna kata becha tum? How many weighing scales did you sell? In 1997, I was selling digital industrial weighing scales, and I have to answer this question every day to my South Indian boss. That is terrible Hindi. I understand, rather misunderstand that what my boss wants is to visit maximum number of industries, come back to office, and report to him. In those days, there were no mobile phones. We used to dial from our landline from our desk, take appointments and go to industrial areas. As there was no formal sales training, what I understood is my what my boss want me to do is to visit maximum number of industries, meet people and report to him in evening. I was very hardworking and sincere. I become master in collecting visiting cards. I was knowing each and every industries around Baroda, Ahmedabad, Bapi, and Surat. I used to go to each and every place, meet people and come back. I become master in reporting. All my reports were fantastic. After a few months, I realized that what my boss wants me to do is generate leads, have prospects, have conversation with the prospects and convert them into our customers, which buy our products and generate revenue as there was no formal training. What I did for a few initial months is just go visit and come back. Similarly in life, our boss, Lord Bhagwan wants us to achieve something. He wants us to realize him. He wants us to realize the truth. But what we are busy is in eating, drinking, mating, and be merry. And we think we accomplish something. What we accomplish, what are our accomplishments? What we think is a good house, a good partner, nice kids and healthy parents. If we get, if we are fortunate and if we get this, we are satisfied. We say, oh, ho, life is beautiful and we have achieved everything. God keeps us reminding what is our final goal, what is the ultimate goal of our life, of our human existence. But either because we do not have the formal training, we neglect that. He keeps on reminding us, but we neglect that. Before I go to the main topic, why we should study Bhagavad Gita, we need to understand two aspects. What are these two aspects? Two aspects are what is standard of living and what is standard of life. Now, what is standard of living? I have marked red flag over here. This does not mean that we should stop the growth on material path. But we have to stop and realize that this is not the ultimate goal of life. We are achieving something, but that is not the ultimate goal of life. We have to slow down. And in past few months, we realized that as we slow down, nature is correcting itself very beautifully. Similarly in life, if we slow down, then nature will correct us, rehabilitate us and heal us. Now, what is standard of living? This may sound as a strange conclusion to all those who are educated in modern concept of materialist. We all are educated in material success only. This may sound crazy. As an exclusive student of secular science, today's politicians, economists, and scientists all over the world in their totally extrovert considerations come to the natural conclusion that individuals are saved when the world has improved. We want to improve our surroundings. We want to be more and more comfortable. Thus, we have instituted the daring experiments in political field and have accomplished the spectacular achievements in science. Politicians strive to bring control into social life, 
and maintain law and order in the community. Economists conceive the scheme and plans to increase the wealth in the nation and redistribute them equally with equity and justice. The scientists with selfless dedication continuously seek to discover means of exploiting the rich treasures concealed within the folds of Mother Nature. Explore the sources of energy and to tame them in order to help the people to harness them and thus make their life more and more comfortable, more rich and more luxurious. By creating such an order in society and by developing the untapped wealth of nation through plant economy by applying the revealed knowledge of science, materialism strives to raise the standard of living of people. Our standard of living is improving tremendously day by day. Within few months, we are able to develop vaccine for the disease which was unknown one year back. We are improving on standard of living. Our scientists, politicians, and economists are in continuously striving to improve standard of living more comfort and more luxury now what is standard of life here i have put the green flag now we have to slow down on this part and we have to improve our standard of life what is standard of life all the great thinkers thought in their varied philosophical flights in the final conclusion realize the need of programs to evolve the individual we have to improve the individual from inside. By disciplining and thereby improving the individual, every culture tries to raise their tempo, quality, and beauty of overall life. Tempo, beauty of overall life. Not just comforts, but overall life, which is directly applying to our happiness. Strong and Strong man and woman contributes bulwark of a happy, healthy, and prosperous life. We have to improve physically, mentally. When a determined woman or man elaborately plans for their own development and progress, it must be necessary to look for the cultural genius in order to impart more than polish his or her character. The character building work starts with the discovery of mental poise and physical dynamism in intelligent one. The character building work starts with the discovery of mental poise. How calm our mind is. If you just close your eyes, there might be a people who have dropped this video by now. They do not have capacity to even listen for more than 10 seconds, 13 seconds. This is what our grasping power right now. So character building work starts with the discovery of mental poise, how calm and receptive we are. And with that physical dynamism in an intelligent individual. The Bhagavad Gita is a scripture which tries to integrate the personality of individual student, make him capable of facing dynamically all the challenges in life. This is what Bhagavad Gita does. It improves on standard of life. Now, we have seen the standard of living and standard of life. What Bhagavad Gita does is it improves the standard of life. And now, why should I study Bhagavad Gita? What are the benefits? Because we all want benefits. So these are the benefits of studying Bhagavad Gita. First, you will become an action taker from an emotional disoriented if you are mentally physically disoriented bhagavad gita will guide you to how to orient yourself and become an action taker the man and woman is experiencing today the need an ideal that can supply them a constant motivation for self-sacrificing and dynamic action all our actions are to fulfill our desires what we need is to have con constant motivation for self-sacrificing and dynamic action because that will lead us to mental poise. I'm connecting the dots here. If we work selflessly, that will increase our mental poise and we will become more receptive to the knowledge. Second benefit is get rid of ignorance through knowledge. To get this knowledge, we should require 
a calm and composed mind. To have calm and composed mind, we have to work selflessly. And by a receptive mind, we will get rid of ignorance through knowledge. Now, strangeness causes stress. And being unaware of what is permanent and impermanent, we are scared of different situations in life. Bhagavad Gita gives us the skill to come out of ignorance and leads us to the path of knowledge. Only through self-knowledge one can be truly happy in his ever-changing world. To motivate you to go further, study more, and to selfless work. Because without knowledge, you are not going to gain the ultimate happiness. And for ultimate happiness, you require a calm mind. For calm mind, you have to work selflessly. What Bhagavad Gita gives is inner strength. We all are empowered with inner strength and have the ability to face the situation. However, our insecurities and illusions stop us in accessing the inner strength. That is where happens, that is what is happening with Arjuna. But listening to Bhagavad Gita helps him in coming out, coming out of his fears and get in touch with inner strength. We all have inner strength. We all are empowered with it. But as we see further, how Arjuna is deluded, how he disconnected with inner strength. And after listening to Bhagavad Gita, he regains that inner strength. The same thing, Bhagavad Gita will give you the inner strength. What is the next benefit? Bhagavad Gita gives us the guidelines for leading a balanced life. Too much of activity tires us. Similarly, inactivity pushes us into laziness. In life, it is very necessary to strike balance between the work and rest. Bhagavad Gita provides guidelines on how to strike the right balance in food, activity, and rest. So Bhagavad Gita will give you the guideline for leading a balanced life. Next benefit, what is the importance of, what is the importance of action? Many times we keep worrying about our problems, but we do not get into action. Performing actions or duties without worrying about results is the secret to get rid of worries. In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna gave tips to Arjuna on how to perform selfless actions. What is the importance of action? So many people know that Bhagavad Gita will give me solution. But how many takes the action? Open the Bhagavad Gita, studying the Bhagavad Gita, enroll in the course. How many people are investing their time into Bhagavad Gita. If you invest in time, you will learn importance of action. Meditation and yoga. Krishna talked about the importance of yoga and meditation and how they can help us in experiencing the inner peace and joy in the present era. Nobody may be standing in a battlefield and fighting with enemies. However, there is a constant fight with our own mind. Winning over the mind is possible only through yoga and meditation. So Bhagavad Gita talks about yoga and meditation for our mind. Now importance of guru, importance of a guide, importance of a mentor. A seeker would be staggering on the spiritual path without a master. A seeker needs someone who can help getting away with the illusions of mind and progress in the path of knowledge. Bhagavad Gita acts as a guru. Bhagavad Gita acts as a guru and provides the guidance to a happy life. Bhagavad Gita acts as a guru. Bhagavad Gita becomes your mentor. You don't require any other guru. Bhagavad Gita becomes your guru. And it will guide you in your problem. How to take action. When to act. When not to act. Bhagavad Gita will guide you. Each and every moment. That is the benefit. Transcend the opposites. This is the next. Most of the times our minds are caught up in the opposite values such as good and bad, right and wrong, and so on. The Bhagavad Gita Krishna explains and how one consciousness is pervading all over and all the opposites are nothing but the manifestation of only one consciousness. By pondering on the absolute, one can easily transcend the above opposites. We 
continuously judge we continuously judge the people we continuously judge situations we continuously judge ourselves what is right what is wrong what is good what is bad bhagavad gita tells us this is all manifestation of only one consciousness and it gives us power to transcend from all the battles of opposites good and bad right and wrong as we study bhagavad gita this point will become more and more clear rejoice in devotion bhakti bhakti or devotion is the easiest way to reach the divine with the faith one gets in touch with the inner strength and can easily tackle any tough situation krishna explains the power of devotion in bhagavad gita so these are all the benefits of studying bhagavad gita once again you will become an action taker you will get rid of ignorance through knowledge you will get the inner strength you bhagavad gita is a guideline for leading the balanced life you will learn the importance of action meditation and yoga importance of a guru and transcend the opposites rejoice in devotion these are the benefits of bhagavad gita summarizing once again what is standard of living we have to slow down in just improving the standard of living it is important it is important to have good house wealth everything but we have to introspect sometime somewhere that how much importance we should give to standard of living and then we have to start improve standard of life and how can we do that by studying bhagavad gita and what are the benefits of studying bhagavad gita we have just now seen now coming back once again as i misunderstood or misinterpret what is my duty as a sales engineer and later i realize that what exactly my boss wants me to do is the same way we should now realize what god what that ultimate reality wants us to do you are fortunate to get this knowledge directly from krishna and he will keep on guiding you at every moment of life study bhagavad gita links are given in below description and you i am chirandan chaitanya alias ruchi thakkar founder of spiritually wealthy community i am on a mission to help 100000 spiritualists to become self reliant and spread their message through digital media we have seen the benefits of bhagavad gita just as i realize lately what is the purpose of my life i want you to realize what is the purpose of your life and it's never too late to start the journey join the bhagavad gita 365 day challenge the videos will be in two languages english and hindi every day you will get video with the meaning and explanation and two verses for memorization this way you will be in touch with bhagavad gita and lord krishna for one full year and he will keep on guiding you on your journey to get maximum happiness thank you